here are JBF Music and Guitar Lessons. This quick guitar tricks tutorial is on extending your bends and to explain what was going on in the intro I'm going to reference about 7 guitars or so using 5 licks, some exercises and throw in any bonus tips I can think of all in about 5 minutes. So better get to it. Alright, the basic technique is to bend, hold that bend and then play a higher note with another finger. You can hammer, tap or just fret a note normally. If I bend an F sharp it's semitone G, pretty much all these notes are semitone higher. Eventually it'll start to go a little bit flat, but as a bonus tip you can always just increase the bend a tad to raise it to pitch. Ok cool, well, how do I use this? Well in E minor if we bend this A up to B, we can play these notes. The way I'm thinking of this is sort of a B for G, in, uh, but a toned down A for G in really. You can do this with any scale, so quickly here is an E A O. Bonus trick there, you can bend with a tap as well like I did on that 21st fret, although that was a bit sloppy and I'm sure you could do a much better job. It's probably healthier to think in terms of the intervals in relation to the chords in the longer term, but scales can help get you started and at least know which notes are in key. So if we use that first note from our Virgin example, we can get an Andy Timmons or Guthrie Govins style lick. Click the lesson card in the top right if you want to learn some more tasty, bendy Guthrie Govins licks. So this bend goes up to the fifth. The finger action suggests a flat six. A tense but cool interval over the E minor. If we bend this A on the G string up to B and tap on the 19th fret, we get our classic Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top tapping lick, what Josh Holm from Queens of the Stone Age would call tasteful tap. In terms of the intervals, I'm bending up to B, E's fifth, then tapping what would usually be a D, but due to the bend, is in fact an E or a root. So we get a great way to outline an E minor. There are of course Van Halen licks using the flat 5 and other chromatic notes, but keeping things in key and tapping multiple notes we can get a pedal point type lick. We can also get a way of playing this lick differently. In terms of the original, uh, Hubert Sumlin smokes that lightning springs to mind, a uh, card up there if you want to learn that. But yeah. The bonus tip repeatedly tapping on that note can give you a Jeff Beck or Joe Satriani style lick, more or less depending on how much gain you have dialed in. And in terms of the intervals, we got the fifth and D flat 7. You can of course bend a semitone, three semitones or any amount you desire. For example getting an E minor arpeggio, we could do this. So I'm bending up from the E of flat 3rd and tapping what would be a G sharp on the 21st fret, but due to the bend is a B. And to round up the licks, this one is maybe a bit like Chris Poland, and makes use of bending out notes, which ideally you want to bend quickly or even pre-bend with some legato. And it's slower again. So after the A to G pull off, the extended bend is going A, B, down to G. 4th, 5th, flat 3rd in relation to the E minor. If you like these licks you might want to check out my Jeff Beck whammy bar licks there, George Lynch Pro Tips or the aforementioned Guthrie Govan licks, which I'll link to pinned in the comments and in the description. This has been Quick Tricks, that's the playlist up there. If you enjoyed it let me know in the comments, hit subscribe, share and enable notifications with that little bell on the side if you feel so inclined. Cheers guys.